Um, I mean, I'm just thinking of a good intro. Well, I mean, that's pretty much it. You know, you've got me and my gus, me and my gus. <laughs> that's and, like the uh, chorus. They got to have a, the intro has to describe what happens. Like, they used to be friends. Then they became estranged for a while. They both had kids. Five or six or seven years later, they meet each other. What's their name? Meet my Gus. Meet, meet my, my Gus. Gus. <laughs> meet my Gus. Meet my Gus. Um, and now they're all Gus's and the family, too. I don't know. Both had Gus's and their wives divorced them. <laughs> uh, uh. Now they got Gus's. I mean, two weekends a month. (laughs) Uh, uh, You know, we could get into all kinds of hijinks where, like, one of us tries to call our son over and they both show up. It's like, oh, how often can that happen before he gets really, really tired? Oh, I, I, uh, six seasons easily. (laughs) Six seasons later, it's like, just, you know. Come up with some other uh, with some other way of calling one of us. Gussy, Gus J, Gussy, Gussy. Yeah. Oh, then my name, my my son's name is Gussy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got hosed. <laughs> That's that will be Gus J's uh, uh, catchphrase. <laughs> yes. I see that Gussy. You got hosed. Oh, woo! Yeah. Oh. Okay, the crowd let's... goes nuts every time he says you got hosed. Well, that would be like like uh, like when Steve Urkel says, uh, "Did I do that?" Yeah. Everyone cheers. It's going to be that exactly. It's gonna be exact. It's going to be bigger. It's than Easily going to be a huge hit. Yeah. Uh, better ratings than Family Matters back when uh, there were like only seven channels and everyone watched Family Matters on a Friday night. Yeah. It's unlikely that this ever gets ratings above a million. Ever gets. Yeah. Oh, maybe maybe for the series finale we'll hit up to like forty two million. All right, all right. Well, let's 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 uh, we'll put a pin in this. We'll really hash it out. Yeah. Uh, maybe make a, a radio a radio, oh, yeah. a radio show pitch uh, of it. I've noticed a pattern in your ideas, Matthew. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? They're basically all radio shows. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one way to do it <laughs> with, with our, our limited resources. That's here. true. I mean. Uh, but we some, don't we don't have any any TV sets or cameras or yeah. actors, but we do have a couple of microphones. Yeah, and sometimes things like you know you listen to the CBC uh, radio mm-hmm. uh, channel that is mm-hmm. just a direct, uh, just the sound. Yes, from yes, yes. The television, the television station, channel. You know, you're watching Friends. You're just listening to a radio show. That's true. I, when I was younger, I would show. I would often listen to The Simpsons while doing my homework, and yeah. I had already seen enough episodes that I was like, oh yes, this one. I was sort of like. You know, replaying it in my mind while listening to it. And sometimes there was one that I'd never seen before and was like, oh man, I can only imagine. Yeah. What's Literally, I could only imagine. Yeah. But, uh, well, I used to do the same thing, but I would turn all the radios on in the house, like all over the place, turn all the radios on real loud, and then go and watch it and be like, I have surround house, sound. Surround house sound. It's just <laughs> everywhere. It's coming in from, you know. Did it, did it improve things at all? Well, it made it louder. <laughs> okay. Was it was it not delayed at all? Nope, nope. That was pretty good. Kind of impressive. It's 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 cartoons. You can have a, a little bit of delay because the, the voices don't always match up perfectly. You know. The, the well, I guess okay. That's a point. That's a point. No. So what do you uh? What do you you still want to talk about Gus's or do you think we need a little more time to hash out the? I think I think we we got something going, but uh, hey, we got something there. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it in another ten years. I mean, I'm pretty sure that. The theme song is down pat. That one, that one's <laughs> recorded. Put in the can. We're ready to go on that. Yeah. Just add some some sax in. And, yeah. Uh, there you go. It doesn't even have to be sax. We'll just put a sax filter on that. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> and these will be like the little uh, scene transitions. It's yeah. so like, oh, now they're going to school. <laughs> You know, something. I don't know. Um, burger ratings, Matthew. Yeah. Green spot. Now, explain to me what the burger. Maximus like Burger. That's oh, the name. Maximus. There we go. Maximus Burger. Uh, did not really live up to that name. Maximus. Pretty small burger. Um, no. This is a double patty burger. 
Yeah. <laughs> um, not impressed. Explain to me the rating system, and then to the to the guest, uh, not the guest. I'm there's no guest. Explain. It's Gus, right here. That's so not- Gus, a ten on ten is a burger that tastes like it's worth a hundred dollars. That's a lot. Well, Gus, <laughs> if you save up your allowance for a few weeks, you'll be able to afford a hundred dollar burger. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but it doesn't need to cost $100. It just needs to taste like it's worth $100. Now, uh, one is a poison burger. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> a five is just fine. A three is edible. Mm. And a seven is good. Between that, just figure it out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, so I can rate my burger? Yes. I'm rating that, uh, a measly, uh, measly 5.5. 6. <laughs> Give it a 6. Well, that's not it's as good. measly. That's only no. one point down from good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it wasn't bad, actually. Uh, I think I'm going to give this one, I feel bad because maybe it's my own a judgment involved. Um... But I'm going to give this only a 4.5. Mm. I was expecting more from this burger. I was also expecting smoked meat, but ordered the wrong burger. Can't put that against it, but I think subtly, subconsciously, I might be a little bit. Yeah. Um, it wasn't a great burger, and it was. I didn't enjoy it. It was a little less than just, it's fine. It was like, oh, I'm pretty disappointed. I'm glad I have a put in as well. Yeah. And I'm backing up, 5.5. Because I remember halfway into that burger, I got some weird tastes and I didn't like it. Like what? Like mustard? I don't know. What do you mean? I don't know. It just tasted off to me. It tasted a little bit, uh, a little acidy, a little. Oh, a little, really? A little, I don't like it. It was only for two bites right in the middle, but, mm. you know, I remember that. I mean, the patty itself was, was fine. It was good. Yeah. Uh, I felt like the cheese was kind of substandard, honestly. And yeah. you don't like Swiss, so that might be a different problem for you. Yeah. The bun was nothing, nothing right home about. I had onions and mushrooms. I mean, I home, that's all, good. Pickles, burgers, fine, but it was weird. <laughs> yeah, so you're sticking with four point five. I'm sticking with four point five. Sorry, then... Green Spot. I was hoping for more. Um, maybe if I go there and order a different burger, I'll like it better. But right now, for the Saint Henry burger, although it kind of has its own charm, only a four point five. Yeah. I'm sticking solid on my 5.5, too. That's it. So, Green Spot, I hope that your burgers haven't gone up too much in price in the past six years. Uh, Because they cost, what was those? They were like $5 burgers. Yeah. $5 something, five sixty five with no fries and no sodas with them. That's right. So, uh, the price for what you're getting... Not really worth it. Uh, maybe if you go there for a spaghetti or a club sandwich, you'll be super satisfied. Uh, they have steaks and stuff. I feel like those probably won't be that great. No. It's just a little neighborhood diner. Can't expect too much. Yeah. You know, breakfast is probably pretty good there. Breakfast yeah, that's probably true. Up. Oh, yeah. Let's go for breakfast. Yeah. So, I think that's about it for this week's edition of Kiddo and Jayco, Wednesdays at Lunch. Burger, Burger Edition. edition. Uh, green spot, step it up next time. When yeah. we go for some other meal. Yeah. But next week, yeah, we probably won't go for breakfast. Oh, yeah, no. We're probably gonna go for lunch. Yeah, yeah, likely. It's uh, it's in our pattern. Um. So, Matthew, what should we get for lunch next week? Uh, let's get a burger. When green is all there is to be. Are you ready? I'm I'm prepped, sir. Welcome to Kiddo and Janko Burger no. Edition. No, uh, I almost I thought I corrected my I think anyway. It's like I I mind sent you a snack time, but then picks it last second. And I think it's what I want to be. My tummy's full.